Welcome to Where in the World is Pastor Joy? So, where am I today? Last week, as we talked about witness and the importance of witness, I was sitting at my kitchen table in the parsonage, the place where I share many conversations. So today, I'm in a completely different place, and the scripture that was read this past Sunday when our guest preacher, Dennis Gilbert, came, Reverend Dennis Gilbert, um, he preached on this passage. It's from John chapter 4, verses 46 and on. Then he came again to Cana in Galilee, he being Jesus, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a royal official whose son lay ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea of Galilee, he went and begged him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The official said to him, Sir, come down before my little boy dies. Jesus said to him, Go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and started on his way. As he was going down, his slaves met him and told him that his child was alive. So he asked them the hour when he began to recover, and they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon the fever left him. The father realized that this was the hour when Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he himself believed, along with his whole household. Now this was the second sign that Jesus did after coming from Judea of Galilee. What a beautiful story we hear right here where Jesus heals the son of the royal official. The royal official who likely had many resources before him. He probably went to many places to have his son healed before he went to Jesus the Christ. We have clinics, we have hospitals, we have chiropractors, we have all kinds of medicine here in our day and age, and often we go to those things first and foremost. I wonder what a royal official would have, as Reverend Dennis talked about, he probably had all kinds of specific gifts and things before him because of that. And then here he goes to Jesus because he's at the point of death. He's desperate now, and he comes to Jesus, and as Jesus heals the son at the moment that he says that your son will live, he comes home and hears report that it was the same moment that the son came back, came to a new life, came in a way where he was healed. Here we are seeing then as he recognizes that he comes to believe that Jesus is the Christ and his whole family comes to believe. There are so many stories in scripture, so many testimonies in the Gospel of John where healing happens through miracles. Will you believe in the Son of God? Not just to point to the miracle, but to point to the doer, the Son of God, God the Father Almighty, through the power of the Holy Spirit, does the healing work. Do you believe it? Go in peace, in the name of God the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, go in